man who built the Wynn Casino Empire is stepping down amid allegations of sexual misconduct. But as Steve Wynn steps away, what happens to the Wynn Casino in Everett? WBZ's Anna Rodas Rodriguez reports. Las Vegas casino mogul Steve Wynn is out as chairman and CEO of Wynn Resorts. In a statement released late Tuesday night, Wynn said, In the last couple of weeks, I have found myself the focus of an avalanche of negative publicity. Therefore, effective immediately, I have decided to step down. Last month, allegations of sexual harassment and assault from dozens of employees were first published by the Wall Street Journal. The accusations have raised questions about the sustainability of the $2.4 billion casino project under construction in Everett. State regulators have since launched a review of Wynn's casino license, and last week, investigators revealed that during the application process five years ago, Wynn Resorts never disclosed the details of a multi-million dollar settlement from a woman who claims Wynn pressured her into having sex. Having two daughters of my own, I certainly don't... Um condone anyone with sexual harassment. It's, it's not, it should never be tolerated. Michael Mangan has lived in Everett for over 25 years and is a former city councilor. He believes the project will have a positive impact on the working class community and should move forward. I'm certainly interested in what the, um, what the commission has to say. And I just hope, honestly, going forward, that the commission doesn't punish the project. City Councilor Michael McLaughlin released a statement to WBZ calling Wynn's resignation a fresh start, saying in part, we can take a deep breath under the direction of a new CEO. The Massachusetts Gaming Commission plans to meet later today, and we could learn more of the status of their review. Reporting in Everett, I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.